Hello everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento and today is Friday, September the 23rd. Take a look at the situation here. Today we have uh, a profit of, well, paper profit, $2,200, almost $2,300. And for the year we have reached $13,500. For that, uh, my account, which started at $70,000, is now $100,000, no, $50,000, is now Do more than doubled uh, over I believe it's three four years maybe more okay okay so right now the market tanking we need to evaluate our situation here first of all let's take a look at the chart of the VIX the SPY obviously is hitting new lows as you can see previous low here is uh, 362 and I think we might go all the way there and uh, you can see the the um, channel could be hit we are going to find a lot of support here in this line let me draw it for you the previous low back here at uh, 362.17 you can put that line there somewhere not exactly but somewhere there if that is crossed then we will go to the lower end uh, of my channel okay that is quite bearish and I don't see you can see from the other way perspective I would count I would count this as a b c and then x and then a b c so we are approaching um, the second the fourth wave down of a double zigzag okay so you can say y x w y x or w x y sorry y is the way we are in uh, which is a two wave uh, itself you notice that the uh, ichimoku cloud turned red with the current movement so that's bearish okay you can create a new shorter term channel as well in the hopes that if that is broken right there i'm going to use this lower high here as an indicator it it seemed quite strong by back then it seemed like it was holding the ichimoku cloud that's my channel and you can see how that was broken today quite decisively and it seems to be going still okay let's just go through our um, positions here and we're going to try and adjust to neutralize our deltas just in case there is a bounce but keep it so that we might make additional profits on the way down okay so let's start with Apple and yeah look at the channel that I drew and I think that's pretty much where it's going here you might find support here on the Ichimoku on the 61.8 Fibonacci ratio let's go to the analyze tab so um, risk profile and as you can see we have 165 our shorts and the put we have five on the 165 so we can lower two of them couldn't we we have two outstanding puts that is to say we have one here at 145 okay we can certainly go there with the two remaining you can see that we have three shorts and we have five longs so we have two outstanding I move one outstanding already so we're gonna do that again analyze rolling and we're gonna just move two okay that means the 165 november puts i'm gonna sell but i'm gonna buy same strike same expiration lower strike price 145 could be okay and let's set this to november 18th right there and that gives me almost eleven dollars and doing that though makes my deltas positive by 45 i don't want quite that much so 
Uh -huh. So what if we did this to the current strike price, the current price 150? And that's still uh, positive but by 22. 26, 22, 26, not bad, okay? I might, might do just that. Or we can do one of them. And that neutralizes us to minus two. I don't want minus two, I want a little positive really. So let's put two of those, okay? Let's do that. And that gives us $880 times two. Confirm and send, and as you can see, $1,760. All right, let's move on to C, city. Oh, this one really, really is rocking. 476 deltas, that's quite a bit. We, we need to do a lot of correction here. Look at that, it's just free falling. Here's my previous low at 43. Let me just use another tool here. Let's take this tool, price, and set my target here. Okay, this one is so close, it's about to break, I think. So we have way too many, too many deltas, negative deltas, okay? Because it may bounce from that. It may bounce from there although I have my doubts about it, but we don't need to risk it. We already have quite a bit of profit on this trade. So let's just, let's go to the monitor tab, look for C here. And you can see that we have year to date $842. Okay, so let's, let's at least sell a couple of these. We have 11 short puts and 17 long puts. So the difference is six. We can sell as many as six. 227, how about we... The problem is if the stock bounces, okay? We don't wanna make too many of them. I think I'm gonna do four in case the stock bounces. But if it continues down, we're still on the negative side. But I think this is fair to do. Or you can just simply exit the trade and say, I'm glad we have all that profit. But anyway, I think this looks okay. October is the expiration. That looks great. Let's go to Costco. And the Apple sold as well. All right, so that will give us a lot of credit, as you would imagine. And so now my option power is $73,000. So we're not gonna use that because the volatility is so high right now. We need to set, see the market bounce back up. We are just simply con collecting our profits right now. Okay, so you can see that my average here for uh, Costco is 520 is my strike price and we have 470 so let's roll down one of the one of the puts because we have one outstanding put two long puts one short put one outstanding put the difference between those two is my outstanding so analyze closing analyze rolling rather and i'm gonna do only one 21 October 21 and I'm going to buy the 470 which is our current price and that should neutralize my deltas there okay so if I deselect that my current delta is 64.44 not a whole lot and if I sell the one put then it becomes 21.94. And because this is also falling rapidly and it seems like it's not gonna stop right here, you can use the Fibonacci retracement tool. 
click at the lower point and that at the newer higher lower high and then lower it back again and that tells you that it violated the 50 percent it's going to go to 38.2 percent or, or retracement of 61.8 from the entire move up so great they already reported earnings and their earnings came uh, better than expected still because of the interest rates ra rising so quickly that the banking well the Costco was, it's not a banking sector I was thinking of C that went down dramatically okay so let's just adjust and sell that and we still dealt a negative it's still going down perhaps by next week it would bounce back up and who knows for the time being looks quite bearish so confirm and send that and we're going to buy the 470 put and sell one of my 520 put let's move on to csx again this is another one with um, quite a the bearish look to it and we have sold calls so that made our position quite look 516 deltas on that one and look at this making new lows it reached my level there okay so what do we do well we can sell any of these puts a certain amount analyze closing and let's say if we sell five of them it goes from delta minus 500 to delta 161 i'm going to sell six and that's 85 seven would be no let's keep it at uh 85 i think that's fair we're taking our profits but we're protecting ourselves against a possible bounce from here Okay, it's about taking our profits whenever we have them. There it goes. Okay, that's for that CSX. Let's go to Disney. Another one with very big delta, and we have our puts at 120, and the market is trading at 100. Take a look at the chart. It's the same situation. It's gonna go. Looks like it's gonna go test the low here. Let's, let's take the Fibonacci here. Let's get rid of this one. And let's draw a Fib new Fibonacci retracement here. Now I go from the low here to the high and stretch it out. And you can see that already went through the 61.8 retracement this has retraced more than 61.8 and that is a good indication that it will go to the low you can also use the Fibonacci tool here the the channel tool to project where that number could go and when well it this was violated already this is how you would do the channel if it was has been violated so yeah it's gonna go here to the low at 90 okay so what do we do well we take take some profits at 247 well this is the time to take our profits we're not gonna wait until the volatility comes down and uh, the markets rebound we just take our profits and wait for next week okay two of them is enough to make it minus 64 and right now it's 245 so yeah that's a good a good profit taking move and if there is a bounce hopefully it will be a strong bounce and we will be all right on that end but then next week we could sell one more or two more or whatever we need to sell so let's confirm and send that by the way you see that there is september 23 i didn't check that on the other ones this is september 120 call okay so we could sell calls here as well okay so i would sell four 
how many calls do we have? Longs, we have eight. Shorts, we have four. These are expiring today. So what about the October 14 ones? Well, they might not be m worth anything, so I'm not going to change that, okay? For nine cents, no, that's a lottery ticket, okay? Suppose the stock bounces back up. Well, then that would be very, very helpful, right? Okay, Costco just filled. All right, there you go. And then finally, I was Disney and Disney, and now we have Goldman Sachs same thing we would reduce the put the one put we have roll it down to the current strike price the closest will be 300 so analyze rolling october 21 300 put there and doing that neutralizes my deltas to minus 2.36 take a quick look it's the same situation big pull back and use the fibonacci tool fibonacci retracement go from the top the bottom previous low to the high and high here and look how it broke below 61.8 which means it will go test the 100 percent refreshment and test i mean it could break through it so we don't want to um get out of the position we simply want to take our profits because we're not stupid it could bounce you know we are relying on what some fibonacci number no that's just an indication we are just taking our profits and leaving the position there with some deltas that will grow as the stock collapses if it continues to collapse so i'm gonna sell this one here roll it down to 30 and doing that neutralizes my deltas confirm and send and i'm collecting a lot of uh, capital there and i'm just gonna check the activity and position here and that's the only one everybody else got filled fantastic and we're waiting for this one here the credit that i'm asking is less so that should get filled very shortly okay so i'm gonna let you go but i will make sure that this gets filled before the end of the day today that's all for today thank you very much for joining me and see you next time bye bye